Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY. And today we're going to be replacing a tower float. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. Today, today's task is going to be replacing this float right here. As you can see, even though the tower is full, we are constantly feeding water to the point where we are actually overflowing. At the same time, if you look over here, this thing is just like eating alive. Everything's in terrible shape. So let's get started and do this thing. Wanted to clear up some of this area so right here is a threaded elbow so should be able to spin this off so now we have access let's get started before we start putting together this assembly we're gonna shut down all the water-cooled equipment we're gonna shut down the chillers that are downstairs and the condenser water pumps and any equipment that is connected that is water-cooled because once we starve that system with water, it's gonna go off on high head pressure. So we're gonna sh shut all that down. Now we can start building this float, taking apart the other one and swapping it out. All right, so the equipment is all off. Now you can see there's no more water trickling. We shut down the pumps and all the equipment. So now we can begin by starting the work. All right, so let's follow this pipe. This is the makeup water. We're gonna close this and they actually have this little thing here so we can drain the remaining water in that line so we don't get splashed. Once that drains, start taking that apart. Got some pipe wrenches. Let's see what we can do. Got the Vito Pro Pack Tech XL with me today. Beautiful piece. So what I'm gonna do is start by taking apart this float take out this rod and then I can spin this off so let's begin by getting rid of this there's a nut and bolt here should be able to just take that out and this whole piece will come off holding back on an adjustable taking off this nut and this should all just pop right out all right that's out this float is out. Now we can begin by spinning this off to the left. All right, so I'm having some trouble spinning off this valve. These are two 18 inch pipe wrenches. Here's a three footer. This nut doesn't do it. I'm gonna put some heat on that thread and help loosen that up. So let's see what happens. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna heat this up and this is gonna help to remove this much easier. So hopefully this works. So I heated it up. Oh, it's a miracle. Yes, yes, yes. All right. And that's what I'm talking about. Beautiful. The heat really does the trick. And it's out. Wow. Look at that. Look how much stuff is in there. Look at that elbow, my lord. Packed. Oh. Gotta clean that out, man. Terrible. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna scrape this up a little bit. And then I'm gonna open the water supply. Let this just like shoot out and like kind of clean this out a little bit because I mean, this is terrible. All right, so I'm closing this drain. 
cracking open that supply. Just at least clear it out with some water. Just to get some flow through there. So give that a few. Let's close it up. Drain the remaining water. Just so we can clear up that line a little bit. See if it made a difference. This valve is an inch and a half. And we're gonna start by spinning on the new one and just reversing the process. I'm gonna put some Teflon on there with some Teflon paste, spin it on, tighten it down. Then we can start to build up the float rod and attach that, and then we can adjust the float level. So let's get some Teflon on here and some pipe dope and spin this bad boy on. I just put on some Blue Monster PTFE tape, some Teflon tape, and you're gonna wanna put that in the direction that you're gonna be spinning your valve on. Next, I'm gonna put on some Teflon paste. I'm just gonna help with the leaks and we're gonna spin the valve on after. All right, so we got the good stuff on. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. So let's just spin on our valve and tighten it down. on tight doesn't have to be so ridiculously tight I'm just gonna make sure catch a few threads and that we're not gonna leak but right now it's looking good so yeah let's get ourselves adjusted so here's the old float setup and we're gonna put some some nuts and bolts to hold this together. Hold this firm, Just put some nuts and bolts with some washers to fit right here. So we have a washer with the gasket on the inside. That should be here. You don't want any water getting in there. So you can see the rod went through, gasket, lock washer, and a nut. Now this is in place. Now we're gonna put this one like backwards. Basically, the idea here is to do a little something like this. I just want to show you here so you guys can see it. And then I'll show you the final product when it's put together. So basically, these wing nuts hold together the rod. These hold the rod. Nuts and washers hold the bolt. So it's the same exact setup as the old one. Wing nuts holding the rod, nuts and bolts with the washer. Then we're gonna take this, and this little piece goes inside here, and then we're gonna lock it down with the nut and bolt. So let's just put everything in place, and then we can make our adjustments. Taking off this nut and bolt. So that's that in there. So I can take this. Smash up the grooves a little bit. I just want to get it started so I don't lose this nut. Stick that inside. Alright, so if you're having trouble to adjust that float to get it on, it's because there's so much water in there. I'm just gonna dump a little bit of the water, so just make things a little easier for myself. Alright, so everything looks pretty good. I'm gonna open up the valve and uh, let's see where our level adjusts to. Alright, I got water coming through at this time. Check around the threads to make sure there's no leaks. No leaks. So as the water rises, so is this float. So if we tap this up, 
it stops the water. So this is, so this level right here, it's gonna shut us off. Let's see, you just don't want the water to go above the overflow. So let this fill up a little more because I dumped a decent amount of water. And let's see where we get up to. And what I wanna make sure is that this stops dripping because the other one would not stop. You wanna make sure these are inside the pin and there's no gaps between here and everything is tight and secure. And that's pretty much it. Everything is great. If the level falls below, the water will start. But right now the tower is good, so the flow comes up and it stops speeding water. And that's it. Now we can go back downstairs. We can start the pumps first. Then we can turn on the chiller and all the water cooled units. And if anybody found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you all next time.